Hey you guys, so bonus vlog for you guys since I don't post anything anymore. Julian is here changing his timing bout in an hour. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> but um, this is Julian CRX-HF. If you guys are new to the channel, if you guys do not know, um, this is a 1991 CRX-HF with almost 300,000 miles. Julian corrected me, 1990. It's almost got 300,000 miles, and for the most part, this car is all original except for the paint. <laughs> and the engine itself has honestly hardly ever really been maintained. This is more than likely the original freaking timing belt, and that guy couldn't even get to like 80,000 miles with his ZC before his timing belt snapped. So let's fix that before something horrible happens to Julian's car right before we paint it. <laughs> That'd be funny. 20,000 on mine. <laughs> Anyways, we're almost ready to go. Julian's getting his alternator loose. Um, there's a bottom bolt down here that you gotta get. It's a 14. And then the alternator will be loose and then we'll get the belt off. We need to impact the crank pulley off. We need to get the post mount and the timing cover off. And then after that, we're pretty much done. <laughs> Are you in place? Um, yeah. yeah, we'll have yeah. to do something. Drop the bolt. Opted to remove the engine mount because I couldn't get the crank pulley bolt broken off. I'm just getting a little. One last headache. One less headache. So after destroying a couple of tools. <laughs> That's a wobbly. The screwdriver, oh my god, it actually <laughs> snapped the metal. Usually it breaks it out of the handle. Actually snapped the metal. This was a good screwdriver too. Damn it! <laughs> but we got the pulley off, thank god. We don't have too much time left, so we're trying to rush this. But um, let's get that pulley off, let's get the timing cover off, and then we're ready to slap on a new belt. Hell yeah, baby! So it looks like, man, Julian's working fast. He's already got the timing cover pulled off. We got the, pu the pulley pulled off. Here's the pulley bolt. Let's not lose that or the washer. Um, here is our key. Let's not lose that either. <laughs> um, we're gonna have some washers right here that we need to remember how they go. So you guys are seeing it on camera. This is how I remove this washer. Round part goes towards the timing belt. Flat part goes towards the timing cover. Everybody gets that confused and then their timing belt walks. Don't let that happen to you. Um, Julian is getting the tensioner off now. Completely off. Or just... Do, do we have a new one? No, I, I don't. And then we'll be reusing it, just loosen it. Right. Just loosen it enough to get it loose, um, and then we'll be Gucci to pull this timing belt off. Oh yeah. Oh wait, actually, mm. let's put it back at top dead center. You're almost there. Sir, you're going the wrong way. Who the hell cranks an engine this way? The TDC. Okay, you're at TDC with the oil pump. Interesting. Because um, our TDC arrow on our oil pump is... Yeah, so the arrow's right here. And there should be a mark on the oil pump gear. Instead, we have a mark down here, and it's pointing directly down. So I'm going to assume that somebody just put that mark there, because they also put this mark up here, pointing completely up. So I'm going to assume that this is in time. We're just going to send it because we're running out of time. So let's do it. Get the tension off. There we go. The belt? Yeah, this wasn't original. This is a Mitsubishi. Like Mitsubishi, but it's a Mitsubishi made in Singapore. Okay, whatever. That does say Mitsubishi. Here's the new I've belt. I've always been Mitsubishi, bro. <laughs> okay. And with very little effort, we have the gates timing belt on. All of the timing marks marked on the engine are lined up. 
for the most part. That one will probably get a little bit more in time with that bottom piece when we tension it. Belt's still loose, but yeah. Um, belt slid on relatively easily. So let's get her tension and see if she fires up. <laughs> Yeah, she still feels good. I still feel compression. As long as you still feel compression, you're good. And as you can see, like the engine's not like hitting any metal on metal kind of things like that. Like obviously it's very fluid in the way it moves. That means we're not getting any like piston to valve slapping or anything like that. You just want to be really gentle with it when you crank it over the first time. And I always recommend trying to do an entire crank by hand just to make sure your full rotational assembly is still spinning freely before you fire her up. But yeah. Um, before we finish putting the car together, I always like to throw everything together just to fire it up for a second. So that way we know it's in time. <laughs> so we're going to do that. I'm going to get the spark plugs and everything thrown on. We'll get this guy bolted down really quick and then we'll fire her up for a second. See if she starts. If she does, then we are good to go. Also, here's a rare sight. This is the inside of um, Julian's engine. This is the eight valve head. As you can see, we only have one freaking valve on each side, dude. <laughs> she looks really crazy, honestly. And um, if you also didn't notice, this engine uses roller rockers. Check those out. These are little rollers. Normally, like you guys saw how normal engines run or normal engines are put together. They don't have these little rollers. They usually have little plates and like, you know, it uses friction to actually move stuff around these eliminate the friction and the goal of this is to increase fuel efficiency by having less drag isn't that crazy but yeah we got little rollers in there instead of the little slider rockers right. yeah julian's gonna start it before we put it back together and it should be good to go hell yeah all right turn it off cool tell me about successful now Julian just has to put this back together. I'm going to go get ready for work because it is honestly time to get in the car and get going. So it's dark and we don't really have any light worth the damn here, but Julian's getting his motor put back to normal. Um, we are not running a timing belt tensioner cover or a timing belt cover at all right now. Um, he'll probably reinstall that later on, but for now we're kind of on a time budget and we're just trying to get this car ready to go. Lower the jack? Lower? Yeah. That's going in, right? Nope. You're a fool. He had it on loosening. This is the kind of people I have to work with, y'all. <laughs> ah! That's pretty cool how that works. This guy sucks. <laughs> so. Minus a few brackets and covers that Julian will have to install on his own time. That is how you do a freaking timing bout in an hour. <laughs> um, we did not replace the water pump or the tensioner, but at least we replaced the timing bout. And after what happened to Issa, if you guys don't know, the wagon snapped a timing bout, and that's why you don't see the wagon anymore. And that sucks. So to prevent that from happening, we got a brand new Gates timing bout, boy. Missing pieces. Around well, we got some here. missing pieces, but <laughs> no, we're done. Just get the wheel on and then. You can take it apart later whenever you're bored, I guess. <laughs> Anywho, y'all, um, me and Issa are running a little late, so we're going to get out of here. Um, I'm going to try to get this video just slapped together while I'm at work and post it for you guys maybe tomorrow. That'd be pretty cool. But um, until then, like and subscribe. We got a lot of wiring shenanigans taking place right now and we're actually done wiring so um we got a pretty cool video coming up soon you guys but um until then i have not had any time to edit we also have the christmas runs video to post and i was seeing i was getting a instagram notification that a year ago i posted the christmas runs video like two days after christmas which was cool unfortunately we didn't make that goal this year <laughs> but if you're excited for all of that content it is all to come i will get to it i have like a four-day weekend coming up for new year's so we will definitely get some videos posted and hopefully this is just a quick vlog for y'all if you learned anything like and subscribe you probably didn't though because we're in such a rush but if you enjoyed hanging out for a little bit before work that is how you do a freaking timing bell on a crx in like an hour and a half um i'll see you guys next time bye